Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Actually, just gonna talk with you guys for a little bit tonight. Uh, some things to catch up on, some things that have been going on with the channel, some things that have been going on with me. And I just wanted to share with you guys. I just wanted to talk with you guys. So, two talking videos in one day. Uh, oh, come on, give me a chance, please. Let me, I'm not gonna bore you. I promise. I got pretty music in the background this time. Do you hear it there? I don't know. I've never really thought about. Okay, I've thought about putting music. We'll make this topic number one. I thought about putting music in the background. This wasn't a part of the title. I'm gonna talk about it anyway. I thought about starting over for the fourth time now. I thought about putting music in the background for the times when I'm doing some preaching. And I was like, you know, a little bit of music may spice it up, may encourage people to watch the message. At the same time, sometimes finding the right music with the tone of the message. It's a little bit difficult, like, I just have this, like, slow, easygoing music going on in the background right now. Because we're just talking about random stuff. Nothing incredibly serious, nothing incredibly emotional, nothing like that. Whereas with, like, the subscriber milestones, I have more emotional music playing. I want the music to match the topic. Um, when there's musical dissonance, I really despise that in my media um, consummation. If I'm going to watch something and listen to something, then the music that I'm listening to really needs to match the topic that is on hand and that's going on in the background. So if it's sad, make it sad. If it's happy, make it happy. And if it's just like, oh, let's just chat about stuff, then just normal, just kind of cool music in the background. You know, we're just going to chat. We're just going to have a little fun time. So the first topic that's actually in the video description I've been putting out a lot of Dark Souls videos. I mean, a lot of Dark Souls videos. So what's up with that? You know, Brandon, what are you doing? JFG, why aren't you giving us that wonderful fallout that you've been promising? And why haven't you done the amnesia that you've been promising? First off, I did fulfill my promise. I played an hour of each according to my subscriber milestone promise. I wanted to play at least an hour of all of those subscriber milestones, and at this point I have fulfilled that for everything up through 50. Now, do I intend on continuing in Fallout 4 and Amnesia? Absolutely. I like those games. I don't intend on stopping them. I want to continue with them. In fact, I'm actually going to talk with my good friend Robbie, who got me completely and totally freaking addicted to Dark Souls. I'm going to talk to that guy tomorrow, and we're going to discuss plans on how Dark Souls 2 is going to look, how the current series that I'm doing is going to look, how what the general direction the channel is going to go. Because I've gotten so hooked into Dark Souls recently, that's pretty much all I've been playing. Um, I'm probably going to get all the stupid achievements, even the stupid Knight's Honor and Prayer of a Main thing where you get all the miracles, even though I don't do a faith build, I'm going to get all the weapons, even though I have love my swag, hander, drop that base. I'm so memefied, and it's so great and wonderful if I knew how to edit in like a little bit of that song right here from Only Afro's video. I would so do that, but we're just with some lovely little pleasant background music here. So those videos are coming, but since I've been playing so much Dark Souls, and I, I of course want to keep uploading something to the channel each day, I've been playing so much Dark Souls, that's what I've been uploading. And now I'm not going to become a Souls channel anymore that I'm going to be an anything channel. The goal for this channel isn't to be just one thing. It's not going to be just Toho, or just Dark Souls, or just Fallout, or just horror games like Amnesia. Not even just Jesus. I want this channel to have a lot of content. I want it to have a diversified, eclectic variety. And that is the goal that I'm striving towards. That's what I plan on achieving. So I'm going to do that. And sometimes I'll just do a little vlog like this to catch you guys up and tell you what I've been doing, what I've been thinking, what I've been planning, at least to some small degree. Can't give you all the plans. Can't ruin any surprises or anything like that. So stuff is coming. It's definitely coming. It's not going to be just Dark Souls, but for a while, it's going to be Dark Souls. I've got so many videos backlogged. My computer is packed. With Dark Souls. Could I just put them to the backup drive? Of course I could. But since I've got them there, I'd like to publish them. Does that mean just several weeks of me not doing any original content? The Dark Souls content is original. 
Uh, new game and new game plus. I'm not doing any repeat episodes. I'm trying to cover everything that I wanted to cover. If I missed a point, like the whole patches video that's been put out, I want to put that out there. Just as some small, tiny little guide thing. Yes, it already exists. I know. Be quiet. I want it on my channel. I want to cover it. Don't go at all. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it well. I'm going to do it with Vim and Vinegar. Just like Mark Senpai did Five Nights at Freddy's 4 in his little quick review um, con consolidation video, which was really hilarious. You can check that out. I probably will not leave the description of the video below. Just type in Markiplier Five Nights at Freddy's 4 compilation, you'll find it. <laughs> I get so rambly. And on to the next topic that you saw in the video description. So Dark Souls thoroughly covered that. That's why you've, you, you've seen so many videos of that recently. You're going to see quite a few more. But Fallout 4 and Amnesia are coming back. Now as far as the whole subscriber thing and some of the spam I've been getting, yeah, I've deleted some spammy things that I thought were dumb. Some things that YouTube filtered in a spam I passed because I didn't find it too bad. So what is it that I find bad? When channels are like, hey, I kind of like what you're doing, I'm thinking about subscribing to you, so how about you come over to my channel and subscribe to me, and I may even give you a shout out, but you know, you've got to make sure to comment on the videos, like on the videos, watch the videos, and then maybe we'll give you a shout out. And maybe I'll, you know, and I'll probably subscribe to you at some point soon. And that kind of stuff is just plain old spam, it's just plain old scam. I despise that stuff. I don't mind, what I don't mind is when someone says, hey, I like your stuff, I left a like, I subscribed. Could you look at my channel and maybe, you know, give me a chance, you know, look at my content. And then I actually see them in my subscriber part, um, it's part of analytics in the YouTube channel, I can see my subscribers, you can turn it off, but most people don't. I personally have turned mine off, um, probably some of the bigger YouTubers have turned theirs have turned their um, subscriber things off as well. Just so it's kind of like you can't look at them and say, okay, well this big YouTuber subscribed to them, so they must be important. They kind of want to keep on the down low. They don't want to look like they're promoting certain people when maybe they're not promoting them, they just like a video or two. Or they just want to show support. Not that they like every video or they know the person individually. They just kind of want to show a little bit of support to that channel. And whatever other reason. But if you say you're going to subscribe to me, then you need to at least temporarily turn on your subscription thing so I can see you in my subscriber box. To say you're going to subscribe and then I never see you, or at the very least, I can see where my, where my subscribers are at the moment. And since I'm a small channel, if I go up by one or two or down by one or two, it's going to be noticeable to me. And I don't see it go up for an entire week after you say you subscribe, and I definitely don't see you in my subscriber box. Guess what? That makes you a big fat liar. Now I don't want to start any beefs on YouTube and I don't plan on calling out any names. I probably will say some specific things like when Christina Grimmie died, yeah I made a video just about her. And if I see something specific on YouTube and there are a few things I feel like I could talk about, I'll make those videos. I don't want to start just any general beefs or like this person did me bad and they're a scammer and a spammer and blah blah blah. I don't want to start any of all that. That's that's not the intent of my channel. That's not what I want to do with this channel. And that's what I'm not going to do. So the principle is bad. If someone just says, look at me, or they might say, you know, hey, we like what you're doing. We, we may give you a shout out. Well, that's not a guarantee. That's a maybe. They didn't say they were going to like. They didn't say they were going to subscribe. They didn't ask me to like or subscribe. They just said, maybe we'll host your stuff. I have no problem with that. That doesn't bother me or bug me or offend me in the least. And if someone did like my video, if I do see them in my subscriber box and they ask me to look at their video, pretty much nine times out of ten I will. There may be the one chance where I forget or overlook it. In that case, I apologize. But there have been a few guys that I have subscribed to where I've looked into a video sometimes. And honestly, usually it's only one. Um, it would have to really just, the channel would really have to hit me for me to watch multiple videos, but I will subscribe to the channel and I'll leave like a like on a video and a positive comment just to show hey I saw you're looking at my channel I saw you you know you subscribed to me to show me support you gave me a like let me do the same for you I you gave to me let me give to you and when people leave that in the comment section would you check me out would you give me a chance maybe I'll get offended when I'm bigger maybe I'll see something wrong with it in the future right now I see nothing wrong with that and one guy in particular PC Pisces um, I probably will leave a link to that, to his um, channel in my description down below. 
he didn't give me a shout out or anything, but he was just like, hey man, I like your stuff. I'm subscribing to you. Could you check me out and, you know, give me a chance? I subscribed to him because I like this stuff. I thought it was cool. I had some interaction with the guy. Not a ton. but I wa And I watched more than one of his videos because I liked him. I liked his stuff. So, you know, hey, he scratched my back. I scratched his. And now I even shouted him out because that was, real, that was before I even had 10 subscribers. So that was a very positive experience for me. And I, even though YouTube marked it as spam, I didn't think it was spam. He did subscribe to me. He did like my video. And so I returned the favor. I just thought that was that was nice. He didn't just ask me to go to his channel, like and subscribe to his stuff. He came to me, he did subscribe and like my stuff, and then he said, Would you give me a shot? You don't I think he even said something along the lines of, you know, you don't have to, but if you could just check me out, that'd be really cool. I mean to me that's humble, that's nice. So I gave that a chance. I gave that a shot. So yeah, that's my view on subscribers and spam and scam. And the scammers out there, you know who you are. Then again, maybe you don't. Maybe you just like looking for a bunch of videos like, oh, this guy hit 50 subscribers. Let me see if I can get him on board my channel. Let me see if I can get one more subscriber and get a bunch of likes and subscriptions for myself. And the answer is no you. No you. No you. Absolutely not. Not for me anyway. So that about wraps it up for this video. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for giving me a chance. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. And if you really liked it, be sure to share with a friend. Subscribe and join the freaks! I love you, and God bless.